maximum points. So I tell you what, let me let me do it this way. I'm going to stop. Okay, well, I'll, I'll keep the recording going. But what if I had a sketch on this right here? That's a circle. So I got a circle. So these are my three sections for my loft. How am, there's no guides, right? I've got a spine here, a spine, but no no guides. So I've got to do manual coupling. I've got to do manual coupling. So I've got a points. I've got four points. I've got four points, right? But so I would have to do, you know, my couples here. Okay. So you need to be a little more intentional about throwing these points in to make a good surface. So one thing I recommend doing is going to the GSD workbench, generative shape design, and there's one of my favorite tools is called the Extremum tool. So if you go behind the point tool, there's a, there's a tool called Extremum. And if I pick that, it can give me a point in the extreme most location on a wireframe entity. So I can go extreme in the Z, and notice it puts it in the Z most location. I can go extreme in the Z minimum, and it puts it in the minimum most location. I can come to this oval, and I can go extreme in the X, and notice it's putting it in the far most X position. And I can go extreme in the X and go minimum. And it's going to put it out here. And so notice how, how useful this could be when you're doing manual coupling. I can't say enough how useful this can be when you're doing manual coupling. So I've got some points laid out there. Now I'm not going to necessarily use these top and bottom. I'll just get rid of that one. But now I've got something to work off of. I know this class, two hours of lecture. I hate doing two hours of lecture. Whenever I normally teach this class, I like to do one hour lecture twice a week. Because this I know you guys are dying right now after an hour and a half of me talking, but this is a little longer. This is a lot of stuff to cover. So I'm going to do an own curve. And notice when I do an own curve here, like I did before when I demoed this earlier today, I'm going to do a reference, but then I'm going to pick that as my reference. And then I'm going to do a ratio. And now I can be very intentional with my ratio. Do a point. Actually, it's not a point. It's eight. So I'm putting an eighth in there. You notice that is very intentional where I put that. And then do it again. So this time on curve, and I can change my reference location to there. I can make it 0.25. You notice I'm being a lot more accurate now. Go the other way. Change my reference point to there. I'm actually going to flip my direction and enter a 0.125. And since this is a circle, you can actually use the symmetry tool and mirror it down if you wanted to as well. But let's go from there, oops, curve, go from there. My reference location will be, point will be there. Flip my direction, let's do 0.25. So now, I've got a lot of stuff to work with for manual coupling. I can even come back. I'm getting a little extreme here now, but I can go back to extremum, go here and look in the X direction. That's max. And do extremum again in the Y direction with min. Sorry, X direction with min. So notice I got all kinds of points on this curve. And so when I go back to the part design workbench, I go back here. Now, section, 
closing point. Let's pick that as my closing point. Section, closing point. And then I gotta notice I've got to flip this direction now. They gotta go the same direction. Section, closing point. Okay, so they're all in generally the same location, all going the same direction. Now I can go to manual coupling mode and I can just start pairing my points. Three this time. And I really don't need these side ones, but I want to put them in there anyway. It just gets a little monotonous, but you want a good, um, you want a good faces on your solid. This is the work you've got to do. NX has a similar capability. So there's my couples and I'm at change of season curvature. Yes, it's working. And notice the spline, the calculated spline. Notice where it's sitting. And I can change that spine to be that there. It's going to get a little bit of an update. And there we go. Okay. 